Hello folks, it's me again, Headbanging Zulu. Had a few problems this end. Um, what happened was the internet went down. I could use Facebook and YouTube and stuff, but I couldn't upload. And uh, what happened was I was promised an engineer who never materialised. I rang them up this morning, they kept me waiting three hours, and they still we've repaired the fault this morning, they hadn't bothered to inform me, and I was really, really angry. Uh, I know it happens a lot in life, but it's just all gone automated now, it's, it's crazy. Um, what I thought I'd do is just show a few items. Um, I was going to do a video on this item on its own, but I thought, nah, it's, it's a bit dead now. For the simple reason was, I'm not, I'm not going to leave this album in a box for about three or four days while I listen to it. And that's Bolt Throwers, Realm of Chaos. Now, if you look at me last video, I did the Crusade uh, album. I picked this album up for nine quid, uh, same as a Crusade album. And uh, this is my favourite Bolt Thrower album. Um, basically, Warmaster and these two are must-have um, albums if you're into Bolt Thrower. They were, they were definitely the best, and also arguably they were the best of British death metal at the time. They're just awesome albums. Uh, but this one I like slightly more than Warmaster. But after probably listening to Warmaster two or three times, I'll probably tell you I like Warmaster. It's a bit, they're about the same. But uh, this album's absolutely killer. The only thing I don't like about this album, the same everybody else finds, is the cover. They were on both albums. They were doing this uh, games workshop thing, and it's awful. Uh, it's too. It looks like a comic, and it's just too bright for me. I like my death metal albums, black covers with you know a few uh, skeletons and stuff. Not this stuff. Stuff on my records. You got nice. That was an orc apparently, and uh, it's funny because that's how I discovered uh, this band. I was in Birmingham, and some of you, if you live in Birmingham, will probably remember it. There was a record store called Reddington's, and on the way, my friend used to, he was well into this gaming lark, and he used to call into the games workshop shop, and it was not there. It's not there now. I think they built a hotel where it used to be, I may be wrong. But uh, I used to go in with him, and I saw this guy once head banged to this group. Who's that? They sound right. It's his bolt thrower. That's how I discovered this band. I've been a fan ever since. Um, anyway, moving on. I've got a CD that Scott recommended. It co it's a bird promo CD. But it cost me two quid um, from Europe. And that's the uh, Fireball Ministry, The Second Awakening. Uh, this CD is not too shabby. Um, the singer sounds a bit like Ozzy Osbourne. This really, really good band. I'm getting well into it. Um, I didn't get a proper case, I'll have to sort some accounts, but uh, that's the CD there, it's one of the nuclear blast promo things, and I only paid about two quid for it, so I was well chuffed, and it's got all these legal notices on, it is on the stuff, but uh, yeah, so I've got this, whether it was issued in the, yes it was, I thought it might not be issued in the UK, that's why, but uh, this is definitely recommended, it's got two girls on it as well, um, they can half play, really play some good stuff. Last but not least, I have um, plucked up the courage to leave this package. This is a, a, a package I've had for about a week now. I know what's in it. I treated myself. And what it was, was on Facebook. And Tigers of Pantang, I'm on their Facebook page. And uh, I thought, I was going to look at their albums. And I, it's their 2016 release. And I thought, wow. And uh, so I invested in it. Now this one, the reason why I invested in it, because it's signed. And apparently if you buy it from the group's website, they sign it for you. So that's the record there. I believe they've got a new record coming out called Ritual. I'm really excited to um, get that one. But I don't think it's out yet. I think they're advertising all the promo copies. And there you go, it's all signed by the band, look. Uh, Tiger Pantang, New Wobham, uh, brilliant band. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. They're absolutely amazing. Um, they've had a lot of lineup changes, I believe. Like every band who's been going a long time probably has. But, uh, yeah, they're just a killer band. But, uh, yeah, typical Tiger's um, album. But I believe this one was 2016, but I'm a bit funny when it comes to dates so if I'm a year or so off please forgive me 
it's the maths you see I was never any good at it at school but that's it that look, you like that one Greg I think it will anyway but that's the, the 2016 Tigers and I also treated myself to this uh, this is some t-shirt ac action and uh, yeah quality project uh, project prod product Gildan when you look out for t-shirts always look out for this brand uh, they're pure quality the process is very expensive but I believe this t-shirt was made famous by the guy out of Metallica um, he wore it uh, maybe wrong but I've got myself a Tigers of Pantang t-shirt how's that how's that you know when you order order off the band websites I urge you folks and you must support our um, British bands also support the American lads and lads from all over the all over the world but very important you must support bands like tiger tigers they're keeping the metal dream alive if it works you'll get a little tutorial uh, after this video if it don't case or are but uh, I'll catch you in the next video and take care everybody and hope you've enjoyed this thanks bye hello folks this is the Zulu here um, just wanted to show you something um, I've, you have to bear with me I've never done this before so hopefully this will work but I just want to show you something when you upload your videos um, this is for Greg the Egg and anybody else who's interested so when I upload a video you obviously click on upload okay so you're waiting for the screen to change and you get this one so what you then do is shrink it and for the benefit of this uh, tutorial I'm using the old video so basically the video goes in okay and we'll start uploading and that's the title of my last video hopefully my um, internet's been playing up and uh, it should fix itself which it has done it's a lot faster which I'm really happy basically there you get the title of the video and there you get the description uh, that that is the important box you must do the reason is don't leave it blank because you get more more viewers so what you do is the, the important one is just put vinyl community in this box okay and um, all you do is vinyl community press enter say for instance I was talking about deep purple I put deep purple purple then the band never put just deep purple because they, you could be talking about anything you could be talking about the color of fabric or anything like that and what you then do is every component uh, you've been talking about you stick it in in your um, box and this what, what this does is it basically if anybody else is talking about deep deep purple it just um, gets your video on that line because if you forget to put this uh, do this box what happens is your videos uh, they just fall into the abyss of YouTube YouTube <laughs> that's funny YouTube if you like so I just thought I'd show you this in case anyone was interested and also Greg hope it helps you out mate uh, me videos me, me uh, computer is fixed I'm back up and running that's another reason why I wanted to make this film, just to see if me internet was working and they fixed it. See ya folks.